Hi, I'm Joseph Sahaki from the Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services, and today we're going to be discussing firework safety along with Lieutenant Hopkins. Hi there. We're here today to talk to you about fire safety as it relates to fireworks. We are here representing our fire marshals division from the Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services. We know with the current pandemic, many fireworks events have been canceled throughout the county and around the state. And we know that you may be tempted to stop on the roadside or shop in your local grocery store and pick up some fireworks of your own. So we want to address that with you today. So while we're not encouraging anyone to go purchase fireworks this year, we do know that people will go and do that and they will set them off at home. We would like to suggest some alternatives for you and your family. Perhaps this year is the year you create new traditions for yourself and your children rather than going to watch fireworks. Some suggestions may be a glow stick party or glow finger paint, um, some type of outside movie night with a barbecue. But again, we do know that people are going to purchase these fireworks. So if that's you, please pay close attention to these safety tips. When you are purchasing fireworks in the state of Maryland, it's important to make sure you are buying fireworks that are legal. Fireworks here in Maryland have to be ground-based and maybe sparkler devices, but cannot be projectiles of any type that shoot up into the air. They have to stay strictly on the ground at all times. If you choose to set off fireworks, make sure that you are doing so in an open area, away from any dry brush, buildings, vehicles, or anything else that may be in danger of the firework going off. You also want to make sure that any family members that are around are far enough away before setting off the firework to make sure that they are not impacted by any flames or sparks that may emit from the device. I'm going to talk to you today about how to use these sparklers safety because bottom line, they do have a flame and they can burn. One of the tricks that you can do to help protect your child is to use a regular solo cup like what I have here. You poke a hole in the bottom like that, an adult would need to do that, and then you take your sparkler and you safely insert it like this. Your child's hand is then able to fit inside the Solo Cup and hold the sparkler and wave it around without burning their hands. As you can see, once you light the sparkler, and an adult should be lighting the sparkler, you can keep your hand protected just like this, let the sparkler burn all the way down. You can swirl it like kids do and have a lot of fun, and that way you're much more safe. So again, we just want to make sure that you're taking every precaution this year on this fun and exciting holiday. From a paramedic's perspective, I worry about everyone out there this year. We get tons of hand injuries from fireworks every year, and I'd hate to see that increase from the amount of folks that are buying fireworks and doing them in their own homes and yards. So please be safe and have a great holiday. If you have any further questions on firework safety or what you can do this season instead of fireworks, please feel free to contact our office and the fire marshal at 410-758-4500 or go to our website, qacdes.org, and click on Fire Marshal's Office.